This is a demonstration of how the Millennium Wireless Keypad works. The Millennium Wireless Keypad is matched up by the frequency of your remote. Essentially, inside the keypad, there is the guts of one of the remotes built into it. We pulled two off the shelf. This one is a Digicode remote inside, and this one is a nice Apollo 433 remote. There's two steps to this keypad. One is setting up the remote to talk to the receiver just the same way you did your other remotes that you have in your car, and the second is programming the keypad. When you're setting up the remote, you're either going to have a learn style, like the nice Apollo one. You would power this, and you'd follow the same procedure learning the remote to your receiver that you did with your remotes. You'll notice these two blue wires. On the front of this, you can see it goes to the button that is on this side. This is the button that you will use to program to the receiver. So you will press the learn button on your receiver and use this button on the remote to learn it to the receiver the same way you did your remotes. Now in this one, you'll notice there's dip switches. This is the same as your remotes. You would open up your remote and match up the dip switches on this to match your remote. Each remote inside of these will program a different way, be it dip switches or a learning process. You'll follow the same method that you successfully used for your remotes. Once your internal remote is paired, you should be able to actuate the gate the same as your remote would by pressing the button in here. If you can do that and the gate can open, you have finished step one and now you can program your keypad. You will notice that there is a constant beeping. This is indicating that you need to enter in your master code. This is what you should hear when you first power up the keypad. We're going to use 2580 as our master code. The master code is accepted. To add an access code, first enter your master code. You'll hear three beeps. Press one and pound. You'll hear three more beeps. Enter your access code. I'm going to use one, nine, three, four. Hear three more beeps and press pound to exit. You will hear rapid beeps. Now 1934 is my access code. That should activate the transmitter side that we've already set up to our receiver.